to you now. What's up? Here. Aaron. Yo, yo, yo. ABC. <laughs> ABC. One, two, three. You good? Okay, let me just do the basic thing here. You got law back in your show. You got your bad words. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, huh? Mm. Okay, here we go. I'm good. I do it, y'all know I have to be trying to figure this out, man. Okay. Twenty. <laughs> Don't worry about me. We just making sure the mic's on. That's all. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Chanel. Stop it's, your, it's your boy J Five <laughs> checking in. P back in the building. What's up? Paris relationship status live. So guys, we got a special guest, y'all. We got Aaron Carroll over here from Ready to Love. Y'all know who he is. Mr. I know who he is. Mr. Stay out the way. <laughs> Mr. That's no it. smoke. Yeah. Mr. Stay no problems. No, I want I'm no problems. I'm neutral. <laughs> <laughs> he neutral, y'all. So, guys, this is our finale show. We're going to be dealing with relationships and friends. Friends of the opposite sex, that is. So, before we um, jump into the topic, I wanted to go ahead and encourage people because, you know, people, you know, I just want to make sure everybody on, y'all get y'all tickets to Ministry. No, for real, I'm not playing. Ministry.evenbright.com. Y'all, next week, May 4th, Space is Building Downtown. Ministry will premiere in 2019. We're going to be dealing with what men want. Mm. We have an amazing <laughs> panel. We have Aaron on the panel. Yeah, yeah, Aaron on the panel. <laughs> We have Shay from Ready to Love on the Some panel. Girl, she's there too. We have April Mason, who's a dating coach, on the panel. We have Brad James. You guys know him on, from uh, Tyler Perry's For Better or For Worse. And he's on America's Got Soul now. He's on the panel. We got Trey Williams. He's on the panel. He's a celebrity realtor. We got Josh on the – Josh moderate. Josh. You what? Joshua. I fought the battle of Jericho. Joshua <laughs> <laughs> on the panel and your girl on the panel moderating. Let's so not God. forget about Jesus Christ, our <laughs> Lord and Savior. <laughs> Can't forget about him. Did I say everybody's name? P I gonna did. Be there. P, P ain't going to be there. She bring about 20 people. She ain't going to be there. Like okay. <laughs> but guys, look, we have a performance featuring Kamal. Howard and we got my boy Desmond Champion. You guys know Desmond. Now Desmond is everything. So Desmond will be there and uh Jay Nash, she'll be hosting B103's Jay Nash will be hosting Ministry. So guys, get your tickets ministry.eventbright.com next week 4 p.m. Spaces Building Atlanta, Georgia Ministry Atlanta in the house. So, oh, one other thing, one other thing. We have a sponsor tonight. Um Baby Steps to Living Your Best Life, Corey Thomas. This is his new book, guys. He has given me five tickets to give away. So the first five people to DM me or Josh and say, give me the ticket, you get the free ticket. And we looking at time stamps. Like, we got time stamps. That's right. We got time stamps, okay? So go ahead, five free tickets. That's Corey Thomas, Baby Steps to Living Your Best Life. You can find him on Instagram at your best lives. You are B E S T L I V E S. All right, guys. So we're gonna jump in right on in to we the done topic. Paid all the bills. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I hope we paid all the bills. <laughs> yes, I just had to get all that out. You know how all we right. do. All right. all right, guys. So we're gonna have an in-depth discussion about relationship and friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off with the scripture. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> All right. It may be jealousy, malice, or a mask attempt to be better than you, but sometimes even the best of friends can turn out to be real backstabbers, at least when it comes to love. If you find yourself breaking up from seemingly perfect relationships all the time, perhaps you, you need to ask yourself if your friends played a bigger part than you first imagined. So, guys, we're going to be talking about 13 circumstances when your friends could turn out to be your worst relationship nightmare. I'm going to kick it off with this one, Josh. Friends of the opposite sex, number one. You need to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your take? They're like, nah, bro. <laughs> what? Like, is it cool? What's that? Like, is it cool to have... Friends of the in opposite my, sex. My like personal, if your girl, because y'all know Aaron got a girlfriend, right? I mean, well, it's on social that. media. Oh, it's live. You it's live. Okay. Uh, I, I want to know how that happened. I'm, cause, proud of, I'm proud of her. Huh? Look, I know those girls on that show mad because what they couldn't do in however long this young lady did it in a short period of time. The show just aired in October, Aaron. Oh, I mean, it, the show was only six weeks long, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, the show was only six weeks long. So okay. this situation... I've known her for a while. Okay. Oh, she, so you, okay. She circled back around and it all came together. And your heart was ready. I mean, it's been ready. It just wasn't ready for the girls on that show. That's what I was gonna say. Oh my god, they didn't meet the criteria. They didn't meet the criteria. You know, I mean, you know we got a different caliber of what we like. And they just, I heard that. Don't get me wrong. They were beautiful black women. Yes. They just weren't the type of woman that I was ready for. <laughs> <laughs> he did real, real politically correct. <laughs> Okay. I, know, I know it's some type of beehive out there waiting. Ooh, for, me and, hey, for me and you. Hey, they yes. right. Damn. Nice. Your DM's going to be lighting up after the show. I'm going to give you fair warning, okay? So, what is your take, though? Do you think it's okay? Or how do you feel about your lady having friends of the opposite sex and vice versa? Have you guys had that conversation? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's a security issue when a man doesn't feel comfortable. Because if you doing everything right with your woman, you should have no problem with her having friends with the opposite sex. Okay. You know, and then on top of that, like... But what I, if he be overstepping? That's a whole different story. <laughs> I, I think I think if he if he knows who you are, he respects the boundaries, and it's all put together the right way, it's all good. Okay. Now, if she doesn't know how to set the boundaries, I think it's a problem with her and him. Okay. You know what I mean? The guy in the relationship. Okay. But if she knows how to set the boundaries, it should be all good. You should be able to trust your girl to be able in the world, do any, anything that she needs to do, mm-hmm. any relationship that she needs to be a part of, mm-hmm. and be okay with it. Okay. All right. That's how I see it. That's how I, I see like it. that. That's, Mr. That's, Pop. It's, secure, it's security. It's security? Security, for okay. sure. Okay. I'm going to get my take last. Go, Mr. Powell. <laughs> I, have a, I have a different spin on it. Um, and the place I'm coming from is, you know what I'm saying? When I look at, in my, in my opinion, for me personally, when I look at who I want my partner to be, right, I just don't want something that's surface level. So I'm looking for somebody to spiritually, mentally, like everything and really, right. really like connect on all aspects. And when I think of, and I'm going to put myself in that. So if, um, I'm dating somebody, right. And, I have a friend from the opposite sex and even though, like you said, like I don't have any insecurities or anything, but let's say for example, with my lady friend, um, whenever something's going on or whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm going on throughout my day, I'm Mm -hmm. constantly reaching out to her. Right. right. Because if that's my quote unquote best friend, And I'm taking that aspect away from my significant other. So I'm looking at it from that aspect of like kind of not where you on some bullshit, but you're kind of like building and having something else with somebody else Mm. that you could be having at home. And sometimes over a long period of time, somebody could feel a way about that. You know what I'm saying? Like if I, I have a, a bad day at work and instead of expressing that to my partner, I'm like calling my homegirl, right. and then when I get home, I ain't got nothing for my lady. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I'm I'm over here with something, and I'm taking away from from over here. Yeah. So that's for my aspect. Like I want to be able to give that all to every, you know what I'm saying to the person that mm-hmm. I'm with because right. I've always been the person on the other end of 
you got to cut yours off. Mm. And then they don't cut theirs off. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it ain't, like I said, I don't have any insecurities. Like if it's healthy, like you said, yeah. and that there's boundaries and ain't nobody crossing no whatever, right. I'm all good with that. But some of these folks out here be playing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and then they, they be doing too much. Like I done been in the car where there's been I love you's exchanged and Ooh. y'all talking three, four times a day. Like, what is that? No. And then <laughs> if the shoe's on the other foot, like if no. that's me, you're going to have an issue with it. My phone ring, you know what I'm saying? And a, and a female pick up. It's like, who that? What's going on? Mm. And it's like, if the person ain't willing to show that same, like, I don't, I don't think that that's right. So it's not an insecurity thing. I'm just yeah. flipping it a little bit and just, from my aspect, like what I'm looking for, what I wanted to be, because we're all human. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know that sometimes we have those human days where our cape falls off. Right. And sometimes we might get in our feelings about something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, who you talk, why you talk? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it happens. We we all could be in that space depending upon whatever. So that's why for me, I just, I don't want no, I'm like you, bro. I don't want no smoke. Right. <laughs> I want to make sure I take care of home. Right. No problems. But if right. we if we have the couples type of friendships and stuff like that, all yeah. good. But just yeah. me having the home girl, nah, bro. Right. I can't I can't play with that. I get that. I get that. I mean, you know, and I think that's a that's a place where the boundaries being crossed because you're giving more energy to your friendship than your relationship. The priorities yeah. out of order. That's what Absolutely. I'm saying. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Out of order. yeah. But uh, but you know, I think I think it's healthy for a woman to have a balanced amount of relationships to where she can get different perspectives mm-hmm. on certain issues that may even be going on in the relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as it's all in respect fashion, you know right. what I mean? If you go into your male friend to get a male perspective mm-hmm. because you're in a relationship with your man mm-hmm. and you don't understand the situation. Okay. If you, if you going, y'all going to chill at the crib, mm-hmm. you need some, mm-hmm. you need to be consoled <laughs> or held. That's what, mm-hmm. That's out of line. But that what I'm saying, yeah. bro. Folks be <laughs> you know out here playing with that, dog. Like they be playing with that. Uh, yeah. And then when it's us, bro, it just ain't a good look. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you something because I heard you say something. Um, it's okay for her to have a balanced, like a uh, balanced group of friends, and she can go and get their perspective. So you cool with her going having a conversation with her friends regarding something that be, that may be happening between the two of you. That's okay with you? I mean, you know, I think when like any situation like we was raised to not put our family business in the streets right all right so you know what's personal and what's not personal you would hope your significant other understands that mm-hmm. i mean is, is she going talking about girl when we be doing this he he be like come on you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. so but if it's a situation where it's like you know he's going through something mm-hmm. how do i help my man through this if you was going through a situation mm-hmm. like this how would you want your woman to help you? And he gives that perspective. She can carry that perspective back to the relationship to get an understanding of what he could possibly go through as a man. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. But let but me ask you this: Does it make does it make a difference if they're in a relationship or not? Who's that? The male if, friend. If he's in a, a relationship with someone else. Yeah, not not single. yours. I'm just saying, if he's if, single, if single or in a relationship. I mean. <laughs> I'm telling you, with this <laughs> I mean, like, I, nah, I, I just, I ain't never had a problem with it. I ain't never had a problem with it. If, 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 if I see a girl stepping out her boundaries for another man, I'm cutting it. Ooh. It's done. It only, I don't even, they're not talking. It's what? done. It's done. It's done. But if she's, going, if, if she's in but her. But you got to get clarity first, right? Or you just going to cut Based on your own, well, what yeah, you perceive. I, yeah. I mean, I would gain, I, I would gain all the understanding and communication. I would do all my checking, okay, the tires, checking the hood, and making sure. <laughs> but, that, but that's what I'm saying. If you yeah. got to do all the checking, then, then what are we talking about? You feel me? Like if so, you, if the trust is there, then we shouldn't even be on that. So Jay, you saying, you saying that when it's in a relationship, male friends should just be. Diminished. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Respect to that. Every, because here's the thing. What works for you may not work for her. What works right. for her, you see what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I respect other people and how right. they move. Right. I'm just saying for me, in my opinion, because people play with certain things. Yeah. And you know with us, yeah. so we got some folks out there who yeah. are vultures, bro. Yeah. You They'll know. wait. They'll sit back and wait, bro. It could be one year, so, no, you two know, years. You know the it could line. be five years, yeah. bro. It'd be some folks that'll sit back and wait 
because you console you you're talking to them about what's going on in your situation. Mm -hmm. They they so called giving you whatever they giving you, mm -hmm. which could be some bullshit. Right. You don't know that. Mm -hmm. You going back thinking, well, he loved me. Let me let me give what he gave me. Let me take that home. Mm -hmm. You fucking your shit up some more, yeah. and then all of a sudden you got that one night. You like, hey, what you doing? I, can I can I come over? Can we talk? Like I'm going through something. Bro, bird man yeah. hand rubbing oh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, people, man, people see, out here, they yeah. ain't care. On yeah. that, on see and see on what you just said, I feel like that from a woman's perspective, like I would like to think that I'm okay with my man having healthy relationships with uh women, you know, someone of the opposite sex. Right. But these women have no regard. Like yeah. they can see you together and still inquire. I don't thing. understand that. Better put that That's check up. Go sit down in that chair. <laughs> That's healthy. That's safe. <laughs> you better reach out to your G ma like, or right. your God mom. That's right because or these some of the OGs. Are That's safe. <laughs> I can do that. You but, feel me? I'm not listening. I'm not playing with that shit needs, because we human, yeah. bro. I'm yeah. not. I can't even do that. And and again, it ain't got nothing to do with insecurity. Like right. I feel what you're saying. Right. But then too, like you had that one moment of, well, I'm gonna make sure I check this, that, and the other. So because you got a check in the yeah. back of your mind, something was off. Right. Something made you feel a way where it's like, oh, on, what's going on? Let right. me see what's happening. Right. And then it's like, they right, hanging cool around too yeah. much. And you know, the favorite thing for a man, a man to say is. When, when a woman says, yo, I'm in a relationship, I, I'm happy, it's the, the, a man, yeah, yes. That's, yo, they say that. You can't have you friends. Can't, you can't have friends. They hey, have said that. Can't they do that, friends. bro. <laughs> hey, when they do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on real, bro. Yeah. Folks out here right. slick with it, man. That's real. That's how it is. You're right. You're on some real that. shit, bro. Like, right. what? <laughs> All the men in the world, you ain't got no uncles, you ain't got nobody yeah. that you feel like you really can't holler so at. So, y'all know how the women feel now. But I'm saying, it ain't like that us men don't have these certain thoughts, too. No, because y'all be looking at us like we insecure, jealous, and crazy. It, it ain't. So, so how do you feel about it, Chanel? Like, what, how would you feel if, you're, if your guy had a female friend that he had before the relationship started, mm -hmm. and he was, he, he, they just had a strong level of communication, I mean, how would you see it? As long as they're clear, defined boundaries, I have no issues yeah. with it. As long as my role is being affirmed in his life, I have no issues with it. Mm. You know, but mm. I, it's like on a, a trial. A trial. I got. You can't first. even talk. Look at this shit. I got first. Let me let me let me put let me put this on your mind. I got what, what is your plan though? What, what is I was you? just about to go there because I said oh, let me no. put this. Is, see? What is she what, five? What she got body like? Yo. See what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. When you got no, to go but in, we got, but we got if we got a good understanding, if me and him yeah, got a good understanding yeah. of what you know what's going on, right. you know what I'm saying? Because right. what's going on? Yeah, you can't, what's you going deep on? Breath and look at you, you sweating over here. You can't even get your words out because we just gonna keep every time you come with something, we gonna give you something else to throw on, it. and that that's gonna make this shit real. Why she gotta be fine? What you mean? <laughs> Because like, then I'm thinking she checking for him because yeah. I know he fine. Yeah. So <laughs> see what I'm saying? But then you gotta ask yourself, like in that situation, then why if they've been friends, especially if it's like a substantial amount of time before y'all got together, yes. if you find them to be both attractive, like you never know. Some people may have tried it like a long time and ago. And if y'all had oh, sex God. before, you oh, can oh, forget it. It's, oh, a, God. it's a yeah, wrap. That's but story. if you didn't know. He better tell me. No, no, there's, I, no, he's not going to tell you. Why? And, and then I find you. out. That All mean. right, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, finish me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, got, I want to hit it. Like, there's obviously something that has not worked between them to where they're not together. So you shouldn't even feel some type of way. No matter what they look like, no matter what the other person looks like, there's some reason that they're not together and that they're with you. So. Well, as long as he reaffirms my place in yeah. his life, here, here, then we're cool. Let me say this, though. Once a boundary's been crossed, you can't get that back. Okay, see, there it is. So there's that's no way you can get that back. Let me tell you something, right, man. Like, what do you Look. If you're like friends with somebody like for 15 years and in year one, y'all you know how many people out here rehashing? Later. You know how many times you can look at somebody, bro, and tap somebody old lady. You like you looking at that oh thing like God. we cool, but <laughs> hey, right, bro, guys. come on, man, look. ain't even gonna play with that. Look, y'all don't. 
Go ahead, Chanel. No, Take us a break. <laughs> when we come back, guys, we're going to have a conversation on relationship with friends. Your girl, Chanel. Y'all get me fired up. Josh. Hey, pal. Our 108.9. We can't even get it together. The mic is just so hot. I got this in here, Ma. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I 
Go out, I want right. good, good. Right. Play if you want, let's do it. I'm a young CEO. <laughs> Shakira <laughs> Chanel, relationship status live. Your boy. Oh, my bad. Jay Powell checking in. Power 108.9. <laughs> so, guys, we back. We're talking about relationship and friends. And we was talking, what we were talking about, y'all? On break. We started praying. We start breaking down some layers, uh-huh. all kind of stuff. Talking about, you know, we got to put all all these details in there, man, because it's mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is the friend attractive? Mm-hmm. Is the friend single? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is the friend on the bus? Yeah. Right. What? Right. What right. going on? What, like, kind, what, what kind of friend is he? <laughs> <laughs> or she? Yo, is she? Or she? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And. I just, I just understand, man, that a, a lot of time, not in every situation, but you hear so many stories, and not just on some cheating, but it's like the people who be the closest, man, mm-hmm. be mm-hmm. the ones who do it to you. Yeah, All you right. know what I'm yeah. saying. So I want to deal with friends who disrespect your partner. Do you feel like your friends ignore your new partner or treat them disrespectfully while hanging out together? If you feel it, chances are it's true. When your friends disrespect your partner, it reflects badly on you as a partner. What do you guys think about that? Absolutely, because because if 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 I'm with my lady and one of my partners or somebody disrespect her, for one, they must feel comfortable because of something I've done. So yeah. I'm I'm gonna take responsibility for that. Like if I'm not holding that situation down, mm-hmm. just in general, you know what I'm saying. If, if any relationship, if you make somebody feel comfortable enough where they can dog something out, they're gonna do it. Yeah. Mm. So that's that's on me. I'm gonna take that. So one. do you check the behavior? Absolutely. You got to. Okay. What about you, Aaron? You know, a, a situation actually happened with this with my boy. He's actually um he 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 was so excited about this chick and he had never been excited about a girl. Like we, you know, back in the day we were just running. So <laughs> y'all just running. Can, can you explain to some of my, my listeners <laughs> what running what means? Running they mean? don't somebody asked me, what does running mean? Yo, we keep it one hundred, right? We keep it one hundred. Go running. ahead, go ahead. Running. Running. The definition of running means, hey, look, nothing was being taken seriously. We were just moving from whatever situation to the next situation. Still politically clear, but we got you. <laughs> we got you. We're there. <laughs> running, right? So he introduced me to his his girl that he was really excited about. And I, right. just, I treated her like the rest of them. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to be around for a minute, whatever. And well, You said that to show I ain't say to it, but I treated her that way. Got you. You know what I mean? Right. When he was like, this was the revered one. This is the one I see as the one, the queen. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever. So we had that interaction. She didn't like me from that point. You know, he's going to be on my side. He's like, yo, she don't like you? Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with her. I ride with you. Woo! You know bros over hoes. Whoa! I know. Hey, that's you know me. I mean? <laughs> so we, that, that's, we ride, though. That's how we ride. And then, you know, it took some time, and then we finally got into the a better relationship, me and her. Mm-hmm. But I mean, so she know, didn't leave him when he chose you over her. Well, it wasn't like a decisive decision. It okay. was just like, yo, you gonna have an attitude because my man's ain't showing you, ignoring you, right? Okay, he ain't showing you the the level of respect that you probably want. I'm not with that. Like, get over it. That's how he was in the situation. Oh my God. But I mean, he ain't, <laughs> but he, I, can I ask you this something? Is a, this Clearly, is didn't perceive year, it from her this perspective. This is a 20 year relationship with me and my boy now. Okay. This is a couple week month relationship with him like, i understand it the blood is thicker than water right now okay now when the relationship progressed mm-hmm. if i would have did that he probably would have been like yo hey yo i'll step in yo yo easy bro, bro easy but mm-hmm. at that time i didn't know her she i got my hand up teacher can What's you up, call on me please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this i do understand I do understand where you're coming from, yeah. and that makes perfect sense, right? But if I'm your friend and I'm on the other end of that, and this is just for those who are listening, yeah. if I really felt like that person was the one for me, I need to pull you to the side ASAP. Even even if, right? It, well, before he he said something, but obviously you was like, man, I know my dog. Like, hold up, right? That happened. Things can happen, right? Right. I need to smooth that over. You feel me? Yeah. I need to pull my shoulder to the side and say, look, queen, I apologize. I'm going to holler at him about that ASAP. And yeah. then I'm going to come to you on some brotherly shit, like let's step over here. And then I'll explain to you, because that's what he should have did if he was really, really and serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Did. You did. Yeah. Right. But we we need to probably get to that a little bit sooner yeah. rather than later because, yeah. you know, it might, that queen might have been like, all right, then bet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, ne- you never know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. for somebody on the other end of it. Like, as as a brother, like 
how many times have have people done that and have saved the situation? Like, yeah. bro, nah, that ain't that. Yeah. So I see both sides of it. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But and on top of that, he wanted to see he wanted to see if she could what kind of environment she can handle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if she knew how to stay, stay strong, which she did, she held her ground. She was a strong. You know, she's a strong. See, that's the thing. She you always expect the woman it. to be strong, like. He didn't say it's spit, but he just said she held her ground. Like, she probably felt like you wasn't... Hold that, on, let's listen. Let's she, listen. Let's, she, take mean, there, there was, let's, ta- take, let's take it in. But, she probably feel like her dude wasn't riding with her. Like, what... I ain't waving it. None of your people. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he probably, she probably she probably felt like he ain't even... You know, he, he riding with him. He ain't even riding with me. So what do you do with that as a woman? That's a question for a woman. You're right. Uh, but for as for he, he was neutral though he okay. was neutral like he, he was neutral like, okay he wasn't like yo to her and mm-hmm. to me he was just like I'm just laid back. Well, I've been on the situation. other side of that. So coming into a situation, man, you just gotta be you and do you. So what that like, mean? Just like be how you she, and do you? Because just like how she he said that she held strong and mm-hmm. you know whatever. Because sometimes too, you just gotta be understanding that they don't know me like that. He know me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you right. can't really take that personal. If you if you stepping into the jungle, you know, just having that understanding of what's going on. So, all right, cool. He says, home says some slick shit. I'm going to let that slide. I'm just going to holler at him, let him know how I feel about it. Yeah. And then that way we can move forward because I'm not going to step in the, you know what I'm saying? Like she shouldn't step in the way of that because the man should be the person that, that handles that. And then on the other end of that, just mm-hmm. I done stepped into the jungle and <laughs> the women are like yeah. looking and Somebody might say some shit or whatever. Like mm-hmm. you just gotta be who you are. You know why you came. Yeah. Show up, yeah. show out. That's it. Yeah, those women get they, they get yo, the women friends, they go hard for that Super. girl. They what? go hard. Get up, go to the bathroom hard, leave yo. you at the table hard. Like you be like, bro, where y'all going? Shit, we'll be right back. Damn. Friends do go hard, <laughs> but they don't about to talk about me. They don't, so. they don't over at least mine don't overstep now. Don't you don't overstep boundaries, I guess, unless you have a situation where you guys are acquainted and y'all y'all having a conversation, but still there's a certain level of respect yeah. that must be maintained. Absolutely. Look at me. What? You see this face. What are you what? Because <laughs> you, you be acting like your shit that like ain't nobody ever overstepped their boundaries at one time. None of my friends have it. Just one time, Chanel. No. Y'all ain't been out drinking That's and somebody dope. I don't Maybe drink. She never allowed that space for them to feel comfortable That's i don't i'm not yeah. saying they don't have an opinion yeah you know i got i'm the just saying this one right here they're dude, this not one. gonna do it in front of him yeah. they this have two, an opinion tupac, we gotta remember this tupac <laughs> what does that Yo. mean she ain't playing no big <laughs> you know what let me stop hey hey, hey stop I don't want no smoke, y'all. I'm you are. Go ahead. What we got next? What we got next? I know. I know when to look. I know when to take the foot off. What we got next? Go ahead, Chanel. What we got next? We got there at the right time, bro. Put the headphones on, man, dog. Don't, 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 don't listen to Josh. Don't listen, y'all crazy. Do not listen to Josh. Okay. So the next one, um, friends who constantly want your attention. Do your friends constantly interrupt or come around when you're hanging out with your new partner? To your friends always coming around when you're to your friends always coming around when your new partner is present may be funny, but it can actually piss your new partner off. Mm. If your friends constantly whine about how much time you spend with your new squeeze, they're just bored and annoyed that you've got something better to do. Real friends give you a choice. Bad friends only care about their own fun. Mm. Y'all, you guys let your friends come around you, girl. Like, uh, everybody. But I mean, shit, if it's, you know, like all the time, like I mean, like it, it's gonna happen. Don't don't get me wrong, but I'm like somebody who always around. Whenever y'all together, they around. No. Why you make that don't face though? You say <laughs> what face? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like you can't do one without the other. Right. No. Don't look at me. I'm asking. It's unacceptable. I need my one on one. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, so then trying to see something. That's all we got on now. You trying to see something? What you trying to see, nasty? What you trying to see? Jesus. Don't worry about all that. <laughs> Y'all crazy. All right, talking about past relationships. Past relationships are always sensitive. When you and your partner are hanging out with your friends, do your friends constantly talk about your exes or about the way you used to behave around the ex just to ain't have a laugh? Never, ain't never. 
<laughs> they, they ain't never had that happen. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never. It's an automatic that. code, like don't, bro. No, I was about that. Right. If you break that code. Right. What? Even if you feel like they about to. Yeah. I'm hungry. Hey, bro, check your. I'm hungry. Oh my god. I don't know why. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Y'all in here showing all the y'all. Totally. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, think right. we can, I think we can skip that one. Yeah. Okay. I, I came back at a perfect time. <laughs> friends who flirt with your partner. They are bad friends and then they are worse. Skip friends who flirt. <laughs> skip, skip, skip that. We ain't even go. We ain't going to get that no energy. Hold on, hold on. Where you at? Friends who. Oh, you skipped four and five. Oh, I'm skipping oh, oh. around, honey. So four. <laughs> we ain't going to what go ahead mm-hmm. go ahead mm-hmm. go ahead nope no smoke i'm let me see i, I, I can't even no, look how you look at like number four oh, I'm <laughs> that. friends who want you oh, to that. cheat <clears throat> somebody like, talked to talk about that earlier oh. it was like the people in general just need more accountable and responsible friends so like your friends should never want you to be cheating. Your anymore. friends like they be jealous of your relationship or whatever they it is should, that you are building, no and so they will influence you to do negative things. They'll put negative things in your head, say negative things. Mm-hmm. Y'all both right. Next, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't playing with that one, man. Cause look, real grown folk know that don't even go right. And then if you no, if you it happens guys that will I didn't say it did, that it doesn't happen. I'm mm-hmm. saying that shit just don't go. Like and, and if you really the if you really the homie, why you no, no. you feel me? Yeah. I'm your partner. I'm like, hey bro, what's nah. so what that shit is? Now this has happened where oh. it happens now. He's got a girl and she's got a friend, and he needs you to be the wingman, and he don't want you to she just wants you to be there for the environment. Mm. We're talking about number four, right? This, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. you run the risk of being seen out in public. <laughs> he played too much, dog. He played man. too much. But, but that's, that's real, though. That's it's real. Situation. It's real. It's real. You know what okay. I mean? And like, you just got to be like a conversationist to, to the person that you is with the be. girl. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> okay. be cool. Okay. But how would, you know, your, how would your lady feel about that? I mean, do you text her and say, hey? I wouldn't do it in a relationship. I want to do it in a relationship. I'll do it. Yeah, because that girl really can trying. go and say, I met so and so and we was out. Right. I want to do it in a relationship. But... That's a date. Right. Oh, okay. Basically. Yeah, it's a date. Basically, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I mean. What if you say, look, Queen, listen, <laughs> I, got it. I got something at home. I'm just here to hold my boy down. I don't want no smoke. <laughs> do I need to FaceTime her and let y'all. Yeah, you just ruined the whole mood. <laughs> I ain't ruin nothing. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I gotta protect home. What you right, mean? Right, right, right. You don't put me in this crazy ass situation. You came, huh? I came because of him. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he he didn't say he didn't say nothing. He just said, "Hey, bro, I meant to tell you what you mean." <laughs> All right. So, do you allow your friend? I'm just gonna ask questions now. Do you allow your friends to influence you when it comes to? Your choice in women, like, can I they think, say something that will turn you off? And that's actually a question. I wanna, I wanna touch on that. What's one now? Mm, I wanna touch on that. Um, you just skip every one of them. Say what? <laughs> I wanna touch on. <clears throat> do you allow your friends to influence you? You know where you might have, you might have been digging somebody, right? And then somebody may, somebody, your friend may think that that person is unattractive or whatever the case may be. Does that, does that change how you feel? Or man, there's so many men that that happens to. First of all, a lot of men are gonna choose the girl that they feel that they boy is gonna approve of. Oh, okay. But they may, it may be something about her. Yeah, but it, but what I'm saying is, it just still happens often. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Hopefully, um, if you're in the space that 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 you need to be in when it comes to that situation, that you can make your own decision. I mean, I I think you still. But can they sway? Because you would have chosen, and then they meet her, and then the ne- now they have an opinion about her, and now all of a sudden, absolutely. You so fun. that's but that's no. Di- I I wouldn't switch it up. <laughs> Go ahead. I said, but shit. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I just, I think that, it, so if it happened, let me put it this way. If it happened, hey, that's my favorite. Get out of here. Can I have uh, them? No, watch out. Um, <laughs> Easter candy. Right. Chill out. Chill out. Chill nah, out. you're not going to share. <laughs> it was gonna not right. huh? not, I'm telling you. Not right now. But uh, <laughs> it happens, if, if it happens to me, I'm going to be, and, and if it's somebody I know I truly fuck with, it just can't mm-hmm. be like just a random, like one of the random homies. Mm-hmm. Like if it's somebody I truly fuck with and I feel like they do have my best interest at heart, I'm yeah. going to hear them. I'm not just going to cut no switch on right then and there. But I'm definitely going to take their words in, you know what I'm saying? Because I might be blinded by something and he might see straight through it. So out of fairness, again, it just depends on situation, who is saying it. Mm-hmm. And from there, I mean... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hear what they got to say, but it's still ultimately my decision. Okay. Okay. Man, you, you just man? mad because you can't get none of my candy. I want some. Let me have some. <laughs> Go ahead, King. It's your world. Man, can I just do a quick shot? Yeah. My boy, Chocolate Tissity, Alex, on the show. Oh, Chocolate Tissity? He he sounds like a male stripper. He a scruple. <laughs> chocolate tissity. Yo, that is definitely. That boy got really chocolate. Wonderful. I ain't spelled a tissity. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Is he coming out yet? I invite him. I invite him. I invite him. Yeah. And you got to make sure you say his name just like that. Chocolate tissity. When he yo. come in the building, yo, like the DJs say, do. Alex made a love connection. Mm. Alex is the real deal. Alice is the real deal. Yeah. Oh, it looked good, though. <laughs> in his defense, though, Tiffany, she was hardcore. Like, I was like, and I, I mean, people think I'm hot. I, people think I'm hardcore, is but I was thought? like, shut up. What oh, you mean? Shit. Is it a thought? <laughs> hey, my bad, my bad, Sean. My bad, Sean. You I got it. I got it right now. Hold on. My bad. No, like, I was watching her. I was like, oh my God, is that me? Do I act like that? Yeah, I, I was hearing that women saw themselves in the other women that were on the show. Yes, I did. Like, I was like, oh, I need to. You know, kind of. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I just want to give a shout out. So okay. my fault. The question was, you know. <laughs> yes. I'm back, I'm back. Yes. What was the question? The question was, yeah. do you allow your friends to influence you and in your choice in women? Essentially, like. I, I, I like what Josh said. You you do like to get a different understanding of what they see that you may not be seeing. Uh-huh. And, you know, because you know when you're in that and euphoria of love sometimes you just caught up in everything that you've seen and you're not seeing the full picture and then you're just mm-hmm. gonna back off because your friend said something well i think I you mean, just hear you may want to be smoking nobody mirrors, say though. that <laughs> see what see what you're doing you see the picture you painting queen what's the picture i'm painting he ain't say that what he say he said he just gonna take it into account okay because he, this is what you gotta understand you bring a king home, mm-hmm. it ain't no different. So let's move, remove the friends and put the family into it. Mm-hmm. You bring your king home. Mm-hmm. Y'all been talking, y'all been cool and whatever. Mm-hmm. You obviously want to get what and, and see what people thinking. You know what I'm saying? Outside of yourself. You want to you want to see how your family feel about the situation. When you bring them around, it ain't no, it ain't no different. You That's feel true. Me? So the way I look at it is shit. I'm I'm bringing, I'm bringing. Uh, my queen around people that I feel love me and care for me and can can be a different set of eyes and ears on the situation. And it's not necessarily, um, sometimes it, it, it ain't necessarily an approval thing, but maybe they can break down the dynamic way different than, like he said, like what you can see when you in it, mm-hmm. because you, you might only be on one part of it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Instead of really looking a little deeper than what you should be. So, I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that you do, you you know, got to get somebody else's opinion. I mean, shit, we do it on business decisions. We do it in other aspects of our life. Why not do it with your partner? That's a huge business decision. I'm just asking. I said you got that. I think I got to follow it. Just I appreciate that too. (laughs) No, no, no. I'm like you, bro. I stay out the way. All the way out the way, man. Shout out to my folks on here, man. They showing love. What's happening, people? Yeah. What's next? Y'all killing me. What, what's your view on it though, Chanel? Like on what? Would you would you take if if your girl saw something that you weren't seeing mm-hmm. and you're like, hmm, I didn't see that. And it was negative, would you would you allow that to impact the relationship? No? Mm-mm. Or even better, what if 
everything was cool until your girl started saying something because you know they all single and they want you to be back with them single. Right. Would you let that would their influence you to be like, uh, I don't want to hang out with this dude no more. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. But that's Tupac. They ain't playing that. I'm just I mean, man, first no of all, smoke. good man is is hard to come by. So true statement. If this man has made it to the point where he's meeting my friends, then he has met my approval. So at that point, I'm questioning what they talking about. You seeing them side eyes, they giving him like, mm. Yeah. So, so they probably check it. really do see other stuff. Because sometimes you, you really do be like in that like foggy eye phase. Now I have had moments where like my best friend who, I mean, we've been friends since we were 12. She has told me some things about men in my life and I chose not to listen almost all the time and she mm-hmm. let me bump my head and then she'll come back and be like, I told you. So how many times did you bump your head? Intuition. A lot. Women's intuition is real. <coughs> a lot. I know. Like, <laughs> I just, I'm just, Are you, you choking? Know. You need some water? <coughs> I might. <coughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I might need to listen to her a little bit more. Mm. Okay, so then you with us. <laughs> Bring it in. But I'm not going to allow her. I'm not going to allow my friends to make the determining factor as to whether I'm going to engage a man or not. You just, no. flipped, it. You just, you just flipped it again. Yeah. No, they're not going to they're not going to make the decision. So what if the information they tell you that you're not seeing and you just bypass it? She and gonna you bump her head. She gonna yeah. Bump, yeah. Yeah. She I'm did. probably going to bump my head. She going to bump that. That's ball. true. Not so all in that moment. Mm, that's interesting. Shut up, Josh. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> Get out. You crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. And I might need to listen more, but you know. Some of these. Lord have mercy. What? So. Friends who flirt with your partner. Have y'all ever had a situation where maybe your friend has Speak gone behind your. Ooh. We, oh, let, go ahead. Go. I'm sorry. We could do that one next. Go behind your back and maybe try to talk to your girl. And then she come back and tell you. Do you take her word or do you go with him? A I'm sorry, homie, uh, both. A real homie would, would never yeah, do yeah. that. Like, you never. never. But if that just, happens, like, who do you really trust in that moment? If that ever happened. Because he you, probably feels you like you haul trust. Trust. Probably, a real, Some people, people have tendencies. And so the Here's fact that the you other even thing. believe it. The fact that you even believe that a real homie would never do that. He knows that you feel that way. So he already knows that if he does this, you're probably not even going to believe it when she comes back and tell you. Right. You know, so yeah. you got to kind of. Yeah. I, that is true for a, I, for a lot of people. I, 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 how would I? Uh, yeah, if I would have, I, I would need proof. <laughs> I, <it's>, <laughs> no <laughs> you way. need proof or you can't have word isn't enough. I, that, my at? boy would. <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, nah, my boy, I couldn't even think of my boy. He can't even fathom. King struggling right now. I'm just, I'm just waiting for him to, I'm waiting for him to finish. I couldn't even think about it, Josh. It's on you. Man. Like, can't even it's, think I can't even think about it. You know, I'm good with devil's advocates and all that shit. I'm very confrontational, man, but in a healthy way. For one, <clears throat> let me say this. If she come back and tell me that my partner tried to holler, right? <clears throat> first of all, that ain't my partner. Right. <laughs> Secondly, which is first of all, what kind of energy you throwing to make him feel like he gonna be comfortable enough yes, to even bro. shoot his shot? Yes, bro. Yeah. So both of y'all don't even trip that you haul truck coming. Yeah. There's gonna be some furniture moving. I'm a holly child, man. Right. <laughs> because because on some real shit, like certain things shouldn't even be a topic of conversation. It shouldn't even be had because shouldn't nobody even question that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shouldn't nobody be questioning certain things? You you feel me? Like, your girl should never come to you with some bull. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's just certain things because you know where y'all at. Right. It shouldn't even be that. So but it happens. It happens. I'm, we not saying it don't happen. Okay. But what we what <laughs> I'm saying happen. is nobody should put like. Let me let me flip it something different. I'm talking to one of my kids, right? They got in trouble. And I'm I'm telling them because everybody want to point fingers and blame. And it's like, bro, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, you ain't even supposed to be in that situation. Mm. Period. Mm-hmm. It, it shouldn't even, your name shouldn't come up in nothing what the fuck they got going on. Yeah. The fact that she feels that she can come to you and say, yo, your man tried to holler. Okay, cool. 
But what is you doing to give off that but energy? You don't really turn it on do, her? I, was gonna say, I said doing? both though. But I'm saying I'm talking to her. Chanel, how many times if that happened, you you mean to tell me that somebody could really say that about you if you're in a situation? No, I'm just saying that sometimes these guys they don't have no respect. But they also waiting on the opportunity. Any guy knows they waiting on anything, any little bit of energy that somebody give off. They or waiting like, on that shit. Or it's their fault for or, convoluting the situation to take that as an and opportunity. And then too, when it's new. So mm -hmm. when it's new and you guys are just getting acquainted and you decide you want to allow her to meet, he probably it's new to them. So they don't have no respect no way. Man, look. If they if they're not your real friend, of course. Yeah. I've yeah. had that happen. That's we why I'm about, asking. But like, that, that that she really though. wasn't putting off any energy. He really just stepped on some wild because he probably knew some things about his friend and maybe somebody else and probably didn't feel like he was digging her like that anyway. Listen, from a man's perspective. I ain't pulling up from deep range unless I feel good about the shot. That's I'm right. not even going to yeah. put myself in no situation right. unless I really feel like you done gave me a little look. You've been looking too long. Something going on where I'm like, oh, she tripping. I'm talking about from a man's perspective. You can speak. I ain't going to speak for y'all. I'm let me, my now, partner, well, like, man, ain't let's, no let's, way. Let's be real. Cause I've been on a football team where there's 80 dudes on the team. Right. Mm -hmm. And you, you dating a girl, and then one of the dudes from the team, y'all on the team, so y'all classified as friends. I mean, that it's it is maybe a situation where you just may have to pop off real quick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's keep it real. Like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I'm gonna have to just give you this business real quick. What are you thinking? You know what I mean? So I mean, that all those few times, but a real friend hollering at your people. That just that don't even happen. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Real friend, like real, like any of this shit, man. If it's somebody that's genuinely your friend, you're not even gonna look at ninety percent of this shit because yeah. it, it shouldn't even be that thing. So obviously, if it ain't your real partner and they doing that, then I can understand that. But on the flip side, too, again, in that situation, even mm -hmm. if even though it's not necessarily her fault, but sometimes, man, people can have moments, man, where they give off the slightest bit of energy and a person might take that the wrong way. Okay. Somebody being overly friendly. You know what I'm saying? Like just doing too much can be taken the wrong way. Right. From That's from right. both from both sides. You know what I'm right. saying? Like and 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 sometimes and, and I'm not saying that it's fair, but if it's one of those things where you know that you could be disrespecting home, then you gotta be mindful of that. That's that's also Again, on my that's my responsibility and that's my partner's responsibility to make sure that we're doing what we got to do to to respect um, my relationship, respect myself, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. Because okay. because a lot of people blame things on, well, this is how I grew up. You know, I grew up and, and we're touchy feeling. Everybody we hug and this, that, and the other. But then it's like, okay, well, everybody hugging. But then when I go get a hug, you got a problem with it or whatever the case may be. Like, mm -hmm. no, nah, that shit got to be fair across the board. Whatever you were used to, mm -hmm. you can't bring that shit here now because if I feel a way, mm -hmm. then respect that. And right. I'm going to do the same thing for you, point blank, period. But some people, I'm telling you, they be giving, they be giving something. And, and, and again, if it ain't something that she did, then he really ain't your partner. If he just felt like he going to step right. out there and just shoot, that ain't your partner. Okay. All right. So your friends speak ill of you. Do your friends treat you disrespectfully when you're with your partner? Your friends should help you impress your partner and win them over, not make you look bad. If your friends put you down in front of your partner, they're probably jealous or annoyed. Let okay. me say this, man. Cause it's a lot of y'all. Let me look, let me look on my shit real quick. It's a lot of people that won't do it right then and there, but y'all be behind the scenes working. Shame on y'all. Cause it'd be a lot of y'all. And I know this shit done happened to me plenty times where folks be behind the scenes working, hating, dry snitching, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't what's up. And I ain't saying it's got to be true, right? It just be some people out there that plant seeds. Mm -hmm. That's oh, true. Oh, he gone. Like, he doing, like, bro, you don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah. Like, how you going to sit up there and do that? You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Or why is you sitting up there? having all these random conversations with my significant other mm -hmm. and I'm not there. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like that shit ain't cool either. That's a boundary. Like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? How y'all, how y'all talking to doing this shit? And I brought you into the situation. Right. To the point where y'all done X me out. Mm. That's crazy. I don't have, listen, bro. 
on some real shit, dog. I don't have folks, man. I brought a couple of this, you know, woo woo woo, and they get close. I'm out. I'm out the picture. Like you feel me? Like they bonding, they FaceTime, and they doing this, they doing that, woo de woo, and then all of a sudden, I'm out. I'm out the picture, bro. That's crazy. I done seen. I done been a part of that. That, I that have type been a of part stuff. of something like that. And that time. shit ain't what's up, man. Like we too, we too grown for that shit. And in a minute, the minute somebody do some shit like that to them, they want to motherfucking go grab the pistol or be on some, you know, like on some gangster shit, bro. But now nah, that's lame. What you doing? Y'all, everybody out of y'all out of pocket. Y'all don't cross all kind of boundaries, and that shit ain't cool. You feel me? Like it's, people don't understand loyalty and how certain shit's supposed to go. Like that shit lame, bro. People be doing this number eight right here. They ain't got to do it live, man. But that behind the scenes, boy, is a mug. Yeah. It's it's a mug for real. The mood has shifted. Nah, nah, I t- in I t- the t- room. I, you know, what I was thinking about was when I was a young boy in high school, mm-hmm. my my so called best friend called me on three way with the girl I had been with <gasps> for four years, Ooh. and he oh, was talking about all the stuff that we had done a few weeks ago. He wasn't even thinking. She going. heard everything. So she came back to me and she was telling me, oh, I was like, how do you know this so well? Like, in my head, but uh, from denying it, right? <laughs> I'm like, bruh. So long story how did you short, find out that he long did story that? short, she wouldn't tell me how she found out the information. I had my sister call her and I'm like, yo, sis, like, figure out what's going on. I can't figure out how she found out this information. It's so accurate. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> it's so accurate. And my boy went in my head. Mm-hmm. My boy wouldn't do this. So, See? come to find out, it was him. I was like, this old fuck ass, punk ass, bitch ass thing. went not so. Went, and then the relationship ended. You know what I mean? But see, and that's yeah. somebody who was your friend. Yeah. But he was, he was really hating. But he, but he, I will say this: he was her friend too. Like we all grew up in the same neighborhood, and and he was trying to. He was like, yo, he was one of them dudes. You know, Aaron, you just got to do better. You got to, you know, he was one of them dudes. Like, oh. Really? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But you, you can't knock a dude for. It was my boy because he was a better version. I'm glad you didn't finish that. You know what I mean? Oh, I couldn't even let you finish that, bro. Now, you can't be mad well, now, but I'm going to be situation. mad, dog, because you can't. That's crazy. Yeah, that was a, that was Listen, bro. I don't think men understand this, right? There's so many beautiful, amazing women out here. Yeah. Yeah, I got to. This is my quiet storm voice because now I'm calm and I'm cool and I'm collected. But there's so many amazing people out here. And a lot of times we send we tend to fight or battle over the same ones when there's no need. It's too messy. It's just not something that we should do, right. especially not putting down one of our own in order to gain. That is not healthy. So that let me not, ask you, what's up? <clears throat> that is not okay. What about when your friend aid and trying to hook your maybe your dude or somebody that you like up with? another female or have knowledge of it you said what now one more time i was reading the comment <laughs> like your fr- your so supposedly friend has a hand in trying to connect another female with your guy maybe someone you like that she has knowledge of you know you're not friends exactly Maybe. right so you ever had like a situation where a friend maybe try to hook another the one of their friends up with somebody that she was either seeing liking or whatever the case may be are y'all currently going out or is it a situation over maybe it's a new situation it could be any it could be any of the above new situation is in it ain't super serious yet right still you still wag if you're a friend yeah you know, that's dead mm, no, it's situation it's- over not dead. No, I'm not over that's not what. No, not that, but no, new situation, yeah, that's what. No, period. If you are my friend and you know that I'm either seeing someone, liking someone, whatever the case may be, you should not be trying to hook them up I with agree. somebody else. I'm saying yo, so you was over with somebody. You was over. It with don't that matter day. whether it's over, whether it's new, whether we just finding out that we like each other. It don't matter what the circumstances is. It's cold. 
Is it cold? Yes. Yeah, because if your friend, if your friend is your friend and they're not your your ex, I would be like, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm not gonna put myself there? in the middle of that. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. do it. Okay. What is your interest in trying to hook them up with somebody it's else? A lot of That's code crazy. out here, my brother. You should get the manual, man. We I mean, that's just disrespectful. <laughs> all I know is guy code. On all I need. a whole lot of levels. But it's still that's a lot of other things that are codes, bro. And folks be out here. Do you understand what I'm saying, Aaron? Yeah, it's, on some, right. on some real. That's crazy. Like, cause you gotta shit. wonder, like, what's their motive? Like, yeah. and and are you really that person's but, friend? But you know, Chanel, I actually had a situation like that, and it, it I got a bad taste in my mouth. My ex friend mm. had a friend that she was trying to get me set up with, and I was just like, mm. yeah, I got, was I was mind. weird about it because I was like, this could go wrong on some drama type, shit. right? Because they, they right. supposed to be they friends. Wrong. Yeah. That's innately wrong. Like, she could be no. talking about her to me, and then back to my ex, and that's a whole. And it's good that you made the the decision because it wasn't even your friend, but you made a decision that she was like, you know what, I'm not gonna engage that because it could be on some drama. Yeah. You so maybe I innately know the code, and I just didn't know. You were just getting It's just up. respect <laughs> at the end of the day. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I said maybe I innately know the code, and I just didn't know. And Paris was like, you was just getting set up, and you peeped. No, it was respect. He was getting set up. But I like, peeped, it, though, Paris. It just don't I... seem like it don't seem right. <laughs> it don't. It's like, what are you doing? Yo, th- this number 12 was stands out to me, though. It says, your okay, friends okay. think your date's not enough. Or your your significant other is your, not enough. Right. How do your friend know what's enough for you? Like then I gotta wonder, like you checking. So I mean if if your friend's you know, right, you mm-hmm. got a friend that loves you dearly, loves you dearly, okay. and understands that you deserve the best. Yes. And I've had that happen. They're like, they're saying, Hey, you know what? You're you're with this guy and you think he's all this and that, but they they see that you deserve someone better than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had that happen. How would you how would you handle it? If they thought that I I've had that happen. Yeah. I've been in situations where maybe I was either dating someone, liking someone, and maybe the um, energy wasn't being reciprocated, and they didn't feel like the person was good enough. Mm. And instantaneously, this is why I'm careful about what I tell my family and my friends pertaining to my relational life, personal life, if you will. If you don't want, if you don't want them to not like that person, then you can't tell them Mm -hmm. stuff Mm -hmm. because they're going to automatically formulate an opinion about this person never having even met that person. You're telling the wrong people. So, huh? You're telling the wrong people. What you mean? No, but you really just can't tell because they're going to be protective of you no matter what. Right. Like I I personally don't agree. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. But the reason why I'm saying is too, like if some because think about it, if somebody that does love you and fuck with you in that way, mm-hmm. but they can have a difference of opinion where it's not more so like they're just gonna side with you no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I'm saying you can still find people who love you and fuck with you like that, but then the way that they think is just on some other shit that can be helpful. Well, my mom, I can't tell like Right, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, I'm sure we all know those people that yeah. no matter what you tell them, they like, well, fuck them. I'm with you. you well, I even, like, I even learned yeah. this about one of my good close friends. Like, I never even Is knew. Is that still she, your good? Cool. Yeah, she's still my friend. Okay. But, your friend, but you said it went from good close to Well, she's my best friend. Life. This is the girl okay. I was just talking about who I've known since I was 12. What's her name? Give a shout out. <laughs> she is she on here? No, we just give a shout out. She Tawanta. ain't got to be on that. Your phone died. Hot? No, it, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Tawanta. Her name is Tawanta. Um, she, you know, she observe and she that out that I forgot her alkaline vegan. Um, she listens and observe a lot of times we're on the phone. I know she don't talk. She just listens and she soak it all up and we'll talk and she'll listen and she'll soak it all up. And then I can go to her and I can complain about something in the moment. I'll say whatever, whatever, whatever this happened. Mm. She's like, I told you that's why when, when I saw it, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think that this was good for you. I'm like, what? What you mean? You never said that before. Mm. So that's why I like, even with her, and I love her to death, there's certain things I just don't say anymore. Because hmm. I'm like, you met Tawanta. But why? Um, you don't want nobody telling you nothing? No, you because... You want to be out here bumping your head? No. My point is, is that a lot of times when we tell our friends stuff, we don't tell them everything. We tell them bits and pieces, and then they formulate an opinion based on the bits and pieces, not understanding the entire context. So tell them the entire thing. 
a lot of times you don't feel you don't feel the need. You just don't tell them everything. So right. Right. If you but if you're going to somebody, I understand that. But this yeah. is my thing. If I'm not gonna be able to get some sound advice, I'm wasting my time. Yeah. I can't I, like that. That's the worst thing because I've been on the other end of people who want to tell their friends what they want them to know. You know what I'm saying? And then they do paint it on these purpose, but it's just because. That, yeah, that's funny you said I that because I was I was dating this, this this girl from Miami. It was an out of town relationship, and mm -hmm. she was a Miami chick all the way. And what's a Miami chick? What all that the way? Mean? She <laughs> tan and got like a flat stomach, a big booty. She was about Wait, what? She, Mexican. She, she was about oh, what what we had <laughs> Puerto <laughs> Rican <laughs> or from South America, Cuba, whatever. You know she, what I'm trying to say. She she was more into what. <laughs> A dude had in their pockets than what they had going for them. Right. You know what I mean? Is and this in Miami? Yeah, this is my, it's, yeah. I don't know about that one. I mean, it's just in Miami. Yeah, my girl's <laughs> really <laughs> and everywhere else then. Oh, y'all heard that from P, not me. Preach. Staying out the way. Well, look. Let me keep waving at these well, folks. I'm like, <laughs> y'all crazy. I, I'm, I'm feeling like she's a good pick. And he was like, bruh, she don't seem like she on your level. I don't like, bruh, you hating. Get out of here. Whatever. It's not even real. Like, this is real. This is real. And he was like, nah, bro, like, she don't seem like she's on the level. She seems like she's just about what you got instead of who you are. Right. And I'm just like. He told, uh, your friend told you that about But her. no, here's the thing. They didn't tell me this until the whole thing was over. See? Then he wasn't looking out for your better interest then. He didn't know how to tell me because he okay. said I was too, I was too deep into it. You was too deep into it? He felt like I would have been. Oh, don't. That's the oh, worst, oh, bro. Just, That's just, the just, worst. Just, That's just, the worst, bro. Let her clear the air. Let her clear the air. I know what you're going to say. All right. First of all, let me ask you this. I'm going to let you have the whole thing. What, what relationship have you ever seen from reality TV, really, from Bachelor, from all these little dating shows? What, have you ever seen a relationship that's really worked? Right. So I, <laughs> I, go, I go into Red okay. Love mm -hmm. as an entertainer. Okay. Not as a man looking for, but for love. But were those women looking for love? Everyone was looking for a come so Let me tell you a tidbit of information. I said I wasn't going to mention this, but I'll right. go ahead. I was cut from that show probably a week before filming. Consider yourself blessed. And and I am not going to lie. At first, I was like, why? Was I not? You what? definitely would have been must see TV. Though. You would have been good, though. I'm, but oh you know my what? God. I am glad Tupac. because at the time, I would have gone on there like really looking because. I, I would have, but then when I saw how they depicted everybody and how people was emotional and I was like, God, that whole brand, my brand would have been tar tarnished. You know what I'm saying? As a queen of relationship talk, they would have been yeah. like, what? Yeah. You know, because I would have yeah. probably, you know, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. But it yeah. was like the way they depicted the women, I just, I just didn't like it. So going back to your statement, oh, you was ready? Yep. Yeah. That show had nothing to do with real life. Real life, Aaron, is a completely different aspect okay. than reality TV, entertainment on that. But Aaron, let me ask you something. Because was it edited this way or did you, because you had everybody thinking that they were a priority. Like they was the one. It was edited. Oh, because I was, was like, edited. Aaron, he's scared. They, they would move conversations from a certain place and bring it to another place to get the react. It was all put together. And then when we was on set, they would give a cue of what they needed for the storyline. Oh. So it wasn't like it was like true reality. If it was true reality, the first day I went in there, I would have been like, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> this is horrible. This is horrible. Because that one was that girl that, what's her name? I can't call her name. I know her name, but I'm not going to call her yeah, on the show. Yeah. You... I'm like, hell no. Hell no. Sorry, JP. I didn't mean to get away from where no, we were. No, that's this good. I just had to clear the air on They that. need that. <laughs> clear, hey, brother. This is for all that. <laughs> yeah, we they learn it. We learn. I'm learning shit. Yeah. yeah. So, so, um, so Jay, would you, in a situation where someone said, "Hey, look, she, he, she, they didn't feel like your girl was good enough," would you take that advice and run with it, or would you? Again, I'm I'm all for uh, depending upon who because for me. I don't just bring her around anybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like specific folk, right? That I just pull up on, and I stay out the way. Yeah, and, and see see how that dynamic goes. Right, you know what I mean. And, yeah. and the people that I choose to do that with, um, I feel like they're genuine 
and and real and that they truly do care about me. So I definitely hear what they got to say. Right. But at the end of the day, anything that I do, man, I, I definitely make my own decision. That's right. That's right. Because I, I would rather live with that because sometimes, too, they get it wrong. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, too, there's another, there's another part of it where – they don't deal with the person the way that you do. Right. They, they don't know some of the things about the person exactly. that you do. So it's a lot of different factors. Yeah. But I do think that out of fairness, man, I'm going a, I'm to a listen to, you know, some, some of yeah. what my loved ones have right. to say and, and hear them out and then make a well-informed decision, man. I got to, first of all, I got to pray up. Yeah. God, help me. Show me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you don't, man, you don't, you just don't know what anybody on these days. You don't. That's true. You're right. And, um, That's true. It's unfortunate that you that you have to say that, in, including you know it could be the person that you decide to to marry or whatever. There's layers. There's so many it's, layers. It's it's it's, yeah. it's all of that. Like you you have people in your own family, your blood that'll steal from you, lie on you, cheat on you, whatever. So you know you you making a union with somebody else, man. You just never know. And all these friends, man, it's people. That just be waiting, man. You know, be, being an athlete and you see it, you hear about it all the time. Um, that some of the homies will just stick around, man, especially if they know you up next. They know how to play their role. Yeah. They know how to play their yeah. position and be oh, cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I've seen it, man, where guys, childhood friends steal from them, yeah. put right. them in situations, lie on them, yeah, treat them like shit. You know what I'm saying? And the other person just so blind to it. Yeah. Um, and it's happening every day. You know what I'm saying? Like folks right, be on that fuck shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's and it's yeah. and it's bad, man. And and you know, I just really I just really hope, man, that, that loyalty and the morals and the values, man, all that shit can get back popping again. And being cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? I understand people got ways about them and they out here doing whatever to survive, man. But I mean, at the end of the day, man, if you losing your soul, you already dead. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, drop the mic. <laughs> drop the mic. <laughs> Jay Powell. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Relationship status live. Y'all, this is our last show. This is the finale. finale. Big dog came and hey. showed up. Hey. Appreciate that? you, Thank King. You, man, love to y'all. Man, I love y'all. And, great things up here. And also, my girl, P, man. Yeah. I swear I ain't seen you about four weeks. I, all right. But I love you and I missed you. I'm glad you're back. You got your thighs out tonight. We matching. We twins. Right. So, my dog in the building, Chanel. Love Queen, let's make this May 4th thing special, man. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Hopefully, we're gonna change the narrative in Atlanta. Yes. Mm. On on some positive now. I can't so be a no part of no be. bullshit, man. On some positive. All of us. That's how we moving. That's how we e, moving. We appreciate you, big dog. It's been my absolute pleasure, guys. My yeah. dog, we appreciate you, man. So love and blessings to all. Chanel, close us on out with that prayer. <laughs> In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, guys, we thank you for your support. These these people have been hanging with us since January. 2019. Josh, uh, we we kicked this this show off in Argent. He was in Argentina. And I was here over here by Technology, myself. Technology, man. Technology. Yeah. And right. we did it for we did it like that for a month. What, yep. where, where did the inspiration come from? Um uh I well, we're gonna go back there. Give us a second. Josh did a relationship platform last year, and I heard him speak on the platform, and I was like, wow, you know. And I, I already had Comministry. Comministry um, is it'll be four, but I thought it would be a good idea for us to partner yeah. on this particular project, relationship status, and let the women just kind of hear his perspective. I mean, he has some good points, right. great tips, great insight, great perspective, and they love it. I'm going to bottle that up and sell it. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's it's I'm, your, I'm your so, manager. Here's the other thing that I like about it, too, though, is how many, how, many, how many of these type of situations are you getting both dynamics, though? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're yeah. either getting an all women's, yes. an all men's, yeah. one woman, one man. Like, you, you never – and, and two, it, the other thing that's different is – because we're not in a situation, you feel me? So it's yeah. like we're coming from two different right. backgrounds, experiences, right. and that's that's the thing that that makes it really dope. Because she's had so many things that she's dealt with, I've had so many things I've dealt with, 
And that's why I'm so passionate about it. You know, I have a I have a totally different obviously this is just you know one show that you've been a part of, but me and her, we really have oh, I, I passionate it, yeah. conversations. Yeah. But he us. stretches me. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, Josh, he gives me hope. You know what I'm saying? He right. makes me hopeful when it comes to relationships because I'm not gonna lie, I have somewhat of a negative, you know, perspective when it comes to relationships. But since he and I have been working together, I mean, my perspective is slowly changing. You know, it takes time, but he definitely gives me hope. And I appreciate that. We have had some passionate conversations. I mean, like really emotional. But at the end of the day, I love you. You my dog. Yep. And we're going to do this live event. You know, um, we got some other stuff in the works, but. I mean, I appreciate you, man. And y'all, and yeah, like, and, and make sure we all supporting each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because too, the the and I was telling her when we first were starting this, like this ain't just about men. You know, a male female like relationship as far as people getting together. We talking about friendships. We talking mm-hmm. about relationships with family and business. Like it's certain things when you have a certain type of foundation. I feel like, in my opinion, you're able to have healthy relationships across the board or, yeah. or being being able to deal with things a lot differently than you would have because your foundation is set and it's, so, and it's solid. So that's that's what intrigued me about doing this, you know, with her. Yeah. And, you know, I've, I've enjoyed it, man. Just just being able to, you know, this is another side of me because honestly, bro, I'm an introvert. A lot of people too. don't know that. Too, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very, I'm cool with being out the way, staying to myself. <laughs> but just being able to open up, man, because when I think of this show, I think about my kids. Yeah. And I just got out of a, uh, of a divorce, and I just know what I'm trying to instill in my kids, you right. know what I'm saying, when it comes with getting them prepared just in life in general. Yeah. So having these hard conversations about so many things and just being able to pass that on, man, from my experiences, you know, I'm just trying to do what I can. And I'm still growing and learning. Y'all you know filter, what I'm saying? Y'all filtering emotions. To where people can see clarity and mm-hmm. what they feel and be it's relatable right we try to make it relatable and i i think for just jo- and this is just because I mean, i've been doing this by myself for so long but i feel like josh he came on here and he sets the standard he lets us know as women that certain behaviors are not acceptable and it is okay to ask questions you know when we first started this i was like well i don't feel comfortable doing that when it comes to like someone that I may have interest in. He was like, well, why not? You ask as many questions as you want. You know, so now I know that. You know, now I won't accept anything less. You know, so I'm sure not just myself, but the women who follow our show, they have a new standard, you know? So we appreciate it. How can we follow y'all? You can follow your girl at Chanel Nicole Scott, my whole government name on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also, you can follow Relationship Status at Relationship Status Live on Facebook, uh, Facebook and Instagram. And on Twitter, it's Josh and Chanel RS. And you can follow Comministry at Comministry Live on IG and Comministry and Comministry on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> hey guys can y'all follow me on instagram please josh 21 pal and on twitter jp 21 reasons aaron what you got brother and facebook what about facebook oh my sister said that out your, your page full i know she said you got over five thousand. she texted me last night i didn't night. even know that she was like i keep trying to allow in itself yeah she's she, kicking back she she, i told her just wait he gonna he, some people gonna unfollow oh, her. <laughs> I only had yeah. Facebook for like four months. Yeah, as long as we had this show. Oh, yeah, for as long as we dog. had this show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, I salute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You, you, hey, look, this is just, I'm just Aaron Cotterell. Don't no. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry I had to follow it. Not JP. just. Hey, look, I had to follow D. Jock. Look, he Aaron has on Cotterell. a golf shirt with his name on it. Y'all don't get it twisted. <laughs> King out here rapping, man. How can we follow you, big dog? All right, so it's Aaron Cotterell, A A A R O N, C O T T E R A L. Aaron Cotterell. Is that French? It's British. Oh, with Jamaican. Yeah, it's Katra. You can say three ways. Go ahead. Talk you say, hey, wait, wait. Talk you got me going now. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Say, say it. Hey, look, look, look. So my grandparents are Jamaican, uh-huh. so they say Katra. 
Yes. And then we moved over to the UK. And in England, they say cultural. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then when we moved to the US, they said cotteral. 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 So they, they hang on to that T a little bit. But dope. Aaron Cotteral, okay. Instagram, and Facebook. Gotcha. P. We can't forget our creative Come on, director. P. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. That is Chronicles of Paris. A on Instagram. Bossy. That's it. That's the only thing That's I want y'all to know. Bossy. <laughs> bossy. <laughs> That's it, y'all. So, guys, we will see you next Saturday, May the 4th at 4 p.m. Spaces Building, downtown Atlanta, 715 Peach Tree Street. Get your tickets, ministry.eventbrite.com. All right, so we're going to close it out. Appreciate you guys. Power 108.9, Relationship Status Live. We'll catch you next time, guys. Peace. Put the music on, we are changed.